Hey, what I'd like to do now is talk a little bit about how we detect charge. So what I've got here is a balloon. I'm going to rub it on my hair. And uh, I'm going to bring it near this thing, which is called an electroscope. And you'll see when I bring it near, that needle deflects. This electroscope is detecting the presence of charge in this balloon. We're going to talk about how that works a bit later. Another way we can detect electric charge is with a neon bulb. And the neon bulb has the advantage of it will actually tell us the sign of the charge. So let's make sure we can see this first. I'm going to bring this near this charged object. I've turned off the lights in here so we can see this a little bit better. But if you look carefully, uh, when I do this, you will see that, that lighting up right there with orange. And uh, if you look really, really closely, you can actually tell what the sign of the charge is. And the way you do this is by looking very closely at the neon bulb, one of the terminals inside this neon gas will actually light up. And that's the one where electrons are entering into the electrode and the electrons are jumping out of this electrode into the neon gas and ionizing it. So this is how we know that this side is negative, meaning electrons are going into this side. So when I did this with a balloon, I found that when I rubbed the balloon on my head like so, in fact, the balloon turned negative. Now we can use this balloon as a guide to determine what signs of charge other objects are. For example, you can determine what is the sign of the foam pad. It repels the balloon. It must also be negative. So um, we do know that, in fact, this this object right here is negatively charged. That's negative. Now, if things repel, you can definitely tell they're like charges. If they attract, though, you can't be so sure, as we'll see in a little bit. Uh, so now let's go ahead and talk about the difference between conductors and insulators in the next video.